air with the one and only Jesus Ramirez. Yay! Thank you, Paul. Thank you. How are you doing today, buddy? Doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing great because it's a it's a pretty exciting day. I think we have not probably the last 24 hours we have not slept much probably. No joke. I went to bed at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. People. Yeah. <laughs> this is a big it's a big day. I mean it's big just like day. a lot a lot happening. In Definitely. It. And I wore the shirt today. You know, you wore love the shirt Photoshop. Yeah. Representing. Represent. I love I love that. Where did you get that by the way? I think uh, Marinette Stoltner gave that to me. Photoshop product oh, manager. Oh, yeah. I love it. That's so yeah. cool. Want to welcome everybody in chat. We see you, Josh, Alexio. Paul, Preston, if you're new, feel free to say so. We'd love to give you a warm hug and all that good stuff. But today was pretty much like, I don't know, like launch day. Um, you know, kind of Christmas in May is what it kind of feels like because mm -hmm. there's new tools, new new features in Photoshop and uh, new a new feature in the Photoshop beta, which yeah. we'll spend some time with. Yeah, a little generative fill. Generative fill, yeah, yeah, I love it. It's been fantastic. Yeah, so you've you've been playing with it, and oh, I'm yeah. sure, yeah. So it's been it's it's been a lot. So I don't know I don't know where we want to begin. <laughs> I say we just dive in, guys. And we're I, so thankful you're here. Uh, follow uh, Photoshop Training Channel everywhere uh, and all that good stuff. Subscribe below. Do all the things. Click all the buttons. Yeah, just, just all the good ones. Click everything. If it's pointing upward, yeah. click on those. Yeah. We like those ones. Yeah. Um, and it's Derek's first time catching us live. Oh that's wow! Awesome. So, Thanks, Derek. Uh, good to have you here. So yeah, I already see something kind of cool. Yeah, let's well, actually, like it's 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 full of possibilities. It's full of possibilities. That's right. <laughs> the generative fill in Photoshop. My God, I you know I've been doing graphics professionally for about twenty years now, Paul, and I've never been more excited. Since he's three years old. Since I was yeah he's, one year he's old. Twenty three. Yeah, uh, yeah, just no. <laughs> just turned twenty one. Just went to Vegas last weekend for my twenty first. Um, I've never been so excited and so terrified at the same time. Mm, the yeah. tool is incredibly good. Are it, you? Are you? And, and also, you have so, you have plenty of uh, videos out there. Like yes. Tutorial videos on how to remove, how to do all these things. Yeah. And then this comes in and like just changes. Yeah, exactly. And there's an example that I have a little later on that it, it's a video that I made about six years ago on how to remove something. It took about an hour to do, and now I can do it in under a minute. And we're gonna oh. walk through it. it it's crazy. But in case uh, the people watching haven't seen this yet, and I'm sure they've already seen it, they've been watching probably for hours now, uh, this morning in the Photoshop beta, we got access to the generative fill, which allows you to do some pretty amazing things with the any selection tool. I'm, I'm gonna use the rectangular marquee tool, but with any selection, you can just click and drag over an image. You get this little hovering window here. If you don't see it, you can go into window and then go all the way down to where it says contextual taskbar to enable it. Notice that it goes away if I click on that, but I'm gonna bring it back. Also side note, you know, just cause I'm nerdy like that. If you want it to, you can go into edit and choose generative fill and then use this window here mm. or right click on the selection and choose generative fill, but I don't like that. I like the contextual taskbar much, much better because I can just click on this. And what I kind of like it about it is you could you could pin it. A hundred percent. Image that last yes. time, and I'm like, I, I wonder if I would like that yes. as a workflow. Yeah, uh, good point, Paul. You can click on the three dot icon here and select pin bar position, so the bar will always stay there. Well, and you can move it around at this point too. Right, exactly. Nice. So I can move it here and then pin it to say the top and it just stays there and I can just work on it. Mm -hmm. So completely up to you how you wanna work with it. But now that I have a selection active, I can input a prompt and I can literally put anything. Um, it, it doesn't work well with commands, so I can't select something and say make it bigger, that wouldn't work. But if you use nouns and verbs uh, in your prompt, then you should generate something that works. For example, um, wouldn't it be cute if we had maybe like a sleepy or like a sleeping fluffy if I can spell it correctly, that's one of the issues now. I have to uh -huh. learn how to spell, Paul. Uh, Sleeping Fluffy Cat, for example. Oh, and I can click on yes. Generate, and we're going to hopefully get a cat Make sleeping. Make a cute kitty. A cute kitty, yeah. So this is going to be interesting, because I'm wondering what size it will come in at. Yeah. It's going to be either a giant cat that. or like in, further in the background. Yeah, is yeah. it going to, is it going to, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm so interested. It's a giant cat. <laughs> it is a giant cat. <laughs> and it, but the, the cool thing about the generative AI is that it matched the lighting, the perspective, the shadows, oh, even a look. little bit of that reflection there under yes. the cat, which is just incredible. Wow. And also in the properties panel, you have three variations right here. You can see them on the right and you can click on the one. Oh my God, that's a big cat, but it's a <laughs> cute looking cat. 
Um, does that look like your cat? What does your cat look like? Uh, it's a little black, a little old black. seventeen year old. <laughs> okay. like, I'm o like just over things. Just I'm over it. Right. <laughs> just I want to look for places to sleep. Right. So, yeah. But it, it's just amazing <sighs> how realistic this looks. I didn't really do much work. A couple things to keep in mind is that when you um, do the generative fill, it fills in all the pixels inside of that selection. So it actually generated the floor as well. So you don't get transparency. And I'm gonna show you an example a little later on on how we can work around that. But um, at this point, if you wanted to, like you mentioned the, the point that the cat was a little too big, so we wanna make it smaller, we can definitely press Control T to transform, but when we do that, we get the same issue that I was talking about earlier with the, the background. You can see that the background is there, but if you ever transform and move the cat to another location, when you click on these generative fill layers, they um, open up this section here in the properties panel that shows you the prompt that you used, and you can just click on the generate button again. Unfortunately, it will not generate the same cat again. It'll generate a whole new set of cats, but in the Ooh, right perspective, in it, the right scale. The right, yeah, the right. right scale, the right size. So that's a, that's a good way to, yeah, just sh shrink it down. You still have those other variations. Right. You still have the other variations, but they're using the previous uh -huh. background, which will not work, but then you have a whole new set of cats. And you can just keep adding variations until you get something that you like. Maybe mm -hmm. if, you know, instead of a cat, maybe you want a dog, you can type in the word dog in there and click on generate, and it gener it'll generate a dog in just a few moments here. This is, it's always so interesting. Isn't it interesting how there's really just like what, very few types of cats, but dogs have so many yes. variations. Yes. Breeds, yeah, exactly. As and it's funny that they're all white dogs and similar Super looking dogs, fluffy. right? Exactly. So um, you can keep adding as many uh, many variations as you want. If you don't like any of the variations, uh, there should be a, a real uh, red X here. I'm not exactly sure why it's not showing. Why the icons are so tiny? Oh, they, we they just changed that too. Oh, they the changed that. Yeah, oh, okay, so that's cool. that's why it has the. If you click there, it's yeah, delete, delete, but also yeah. good results, poor result. Like we want your right. feedback. That's why it's in beta. It's a conversation that we want to have with there everyone. There we go. And you can also click on these icons, I believe, to tell Adobe if you yeah. like the result or don't. And if there's something inappropriate, I think you can flag it and let them know that mm -hmm. uh, something inappropriate came out. But um, it's a fantastic tool. Also, um, I'm not going to spend too much time on it since there's other examples I want to show you. But in this example, I also was able to generate a couch, a table, mm -hmm and a flower pot on top of that. It's crazy nice. how you can basically take a photo of like an empty room maybe in your house and then decorate it and see if you're gonna like it. And want. it matches like, it could have made that a shiny table. Right. But it like, the just the the, the interior design sense right. of Firefly or Jennifer <laughs> Phil in here is so, so on point. It matches, it's so nice. It's incredible. And I, I think something that's very important to point out is you don't have to type in uh, in the prompt like HD or 4K or you know whatever mm, type of camera point. because uh, Photoshop is analyzing the image and it's using that to generate the results. So you don't need mm -hmm. to type all this crazy stuff. You just can do something as simple as sleeping fluffy dog or cat or mm -hmm. whatever it is. Um, let me move on to another example. Another great feature here is how you can easily replace backgrounds. So something I should have mentioned earlier, there's four things that the generative fill is really good at. Removing objects, adding objects, creating backgrounds, and of course, I'm forgetting the fourth one, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love how you went down that road and you're like, come on, it better come, come to me. Come on, the fourth. Come on, you're fourth. up. You're yeah. up number four. Uh, you're up number four. So let's see, removing backgrounds, um, Adding, removing, like removing backgrounds. And by the way, I just did. A, I just I told you I went to bed at seven a.m. because I was working till like the last minute working on my uh, Photoshop tutorial that went out on the Photoshop training channel. But if you go to that video, you'll see it. <laughs> you'll see it there for I sure. I think it does a good job. At like, if, if this was a case where he was cut off, mm -hmm. you could it could generate. Yeah. Outcropping. Like, that's the other one. Yeah. Ex expanding. Okay, yeah. Cool. Expanding images. So those are the four. So, um, so one of the things that we can do here is. Um, with this contextual, and I was like looking for it. I forgot that we had pinned it up here. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you don't see it, make sure that it's uh, not pinned in like a random place. <laughs> yeah. But one of the things you can do now is click on this select subject button here, and it will analyze the image. And another cool thing about it is that now that we have a selection active, we have these 
cool little icons here. They can do so many things like create a mask, create an adjustment layer, but we also have the invert selection button and we can just click on that. So now instead of selecting him, we're selecting the background and we can use generative fill to um, add a background behind them. And I think that um, landscapes work really well with the generative mm. fill. So something that I, you know, been practicing with is typing in something like landscape with a uh, lake and distant mountains. If I can sp spell that properly, that would be great. I think I did. And I'll click on generate. Something I didn't mention earlier is that you do need to be connected to the internet to use this. Um, Photoshop sends your prompt to the cloud. It does its magic up there. It's some compute stuff. I don't know. I'm sure Paul knows. He knows everything. It's, but then they spit it right back at you to your computer and look at this. Look at the result. It's it's just incredible mm -hmm. that just by typing a couple words, we get something that looks very realistic yeah. and very convincing. Something yeah. else that I really, really like is that the um, generative AI, and for some reason it's not zooming in. There you go. Oh, let me zoom out. I went in too far. It created the flyaway hairs around his hair, which makes the composite look very realistic. So I, I think that's just insane <laughs> that how awesome. it can do that. And then, you know what I would do? <coughs> Excuse me. And this also is like the, and then from here, like, actually that looks good. It matched, the lighting looks great. Mm -hmm. Oh, so here's one, here's one thing that I'm kind of noticing, and you tell me. Okay. But like, since you're using such a large area, mm -hmm. we're only returning like a 1024 yes. by 1024 yes, size. So it might come in on like a little blurry compared mm -hmm. to the crispness yes. of him. Yeah, v very good point. So I have another example that I was gonna show, but I'm glad you brought it up now. So yeah. as you mentioned, it's a 1080 on the long side, and then um, it tries to fill the selection that you created. So in this case, it worked well because if this were a real photo, it would be like a you know shallow depth of field and the mm -hmm. background would be blurry anyway. But if you needed something with detail and sharpness, then it's better to do it in pieces because then you're stretching that 1080 image to a smaller section yep. or maybe not even stretching at all, depending on the size yeah. of your selection. Yeah, exactly. So you could you could just, it would just be maybe four different passes, maybe each quadrant. Exactly. Sort of and now that I'm Same talking thing. about that one, let's let me open that one up. I think this is the image here. Yeah, this is this is the image here, and I guess you already saw the final result, but we'll pretend that we didn't see it. So, if you have um, an image like this where you would like to expand it horizontally, maybe you're working on, you know, like you have the perfect photo of like a yoga instructor or something, and she wants this photo to be part of her Facebook cover. Obviously, before, you know, we had to do things like content to wear fail and now it seems Ooh, so try archaic. It. Even if you did just do, can you do content? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Perfect. I'm gonna Thank do you. it. It's incredible like how much better it is now. <laughs> so I have the original layer selected and I'm just gonna go into um, file and I'm actually gonna do like the content aware fill dialog box just because in my opinion it does a little bit better job than just doing the old school way. But I mean, just look at that. You, you can see the preview here on the, the right and that's a result using content aware fill. Mm. You know, not not the best. And sure, we can play around with color adaptation and do the, you know, rotation and and scaling and mirror and all that fancy stuff. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we still are not going to get a good result. It's just just not going to do it. So that's a result that we would get with content over fill. But if we do the new generative. Uh, fill, we can click on that, and this is the key to remove or add something. You can just leave the prompt uh, blank and Photoshop will just figure out for you. Just click on generate, and this is this is doing what we talked about, Paul, is doing that 1080 image is gonna stretch it out. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna show you like a, another thing you can do. Looks like uh, Elaine is not, uh, so they've created a model of stable diffusion or some other open AI. Not that impressed. Sorry, Elaine. Yeah. I'm sorry you're not that. <laughs> I would like to for well, you to elaborate. I'm impressed now. I just like I don't know what there's not to be impressed. What you're not exactly. What you wouldn't be impressed by, but that's okay because you hey, don't. Everybody doesn't have to like everything. I I completely agree. But you know, knowing how this was such a manual process before, because you'd have to go out, yeah. find an image because yeah. we know content aware didn't work. Uh, I gotta go hunt down images. Yeah. Try to do a color thing. match, perspective match, yeah. a million things. But look, I mean, this is just insane to me that. Photoshop can just generate this and you know you pick the one you like best. Look at that lighting. It's incredible, right? Look at that lighting. Look at that lighting, bro. Jesus. That is so amazing. 
I, I want to practice uh, or try something out that I never tried. I want to go up and see if we can see the sun. I'll, I'll try that. Ooh, um, yeah. But before I do that, I just want to finish the point that I was making, that we were making earlier. If you're working on something like this, what I recommend, even though this looks fantastic, when you zoom in, you'll realize that it's you know uh, low resolution and stuff, not as good as the original. So it's better if you do it in parts and there's two advantages for that. So I'll go here on the left side and then just do the generator fill just on the left side. And one of the advantages of doing it uh, piece by piece is that you can decide which uh, side works best for you because mm -hmm. maybe on, on the full image, the left side looks great, but the right not so yeah. much. So you can decide on which of these, you know, variations you're gonna stick with and then you can do the other side. Yeah, I like that version. And then do the, ge I like stuff that has depth. You yeah, know, it makes you, it feel you pick more... the right variation. Yeah. <laughs> really like... But isn't that fun that like, we are now making like sort of design decisions yes. as opposed to spending our time doing production. Right, exactly, exactly. So. And see, I, I don't like this one. I don't know how you feel about that, Paul, but I don't like that one. That one I like a little bit better. Uh, it's between these two for me. What do you think? Maybe that one. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I like Maybe that, that one. Maybe that one. But the... I, I feel I don't feel as fenced in. Mm -hmm. so this one feels open to me. Exactly. And, and we still have some depth. There. Yeah, and then we're making design decisions, as you said. And we're, we're being... I, th I think it needs that because when you have some th something too symmetrical, it's boring. Mm -hmm. And we have a little bit of asymmetry to break yeah. out. But you know what the cool thing is? What if, you know, this is cool and all, but what if I wanted to add a prompt and say something like lake with because you know she's out there in the woods, so lake with um, distant mountains. And I'll just click on generate again, and hopefully we get something that works. And this is the cool thing, you can leave it blank and let Photoshop figure it out, or you can type in a prompt mm -hmm. and you can figure it out yourself. Yeah, and that's that's good, just like, I just like that you, ha you could throw something at generative fill and it has to give you something back, and then you can react to it. A hundred percent. It's easier way to work. See, there you go. Look at that. Do we do we like the lake? Do we not like the lake? Oh wow, that changes. That's it, right? I, I I'm I ooh, ooh I like. I kind of like that yeah, one. Yeah, I like that you one know? too. So it you know completely changes the feel, the emotion that this image is bringing up, and now she's got a great Facebook cover photo, which is you know again incredible that you can do this in a couple clicks. Mm -hmm. She's also AI generated for her fake ace, uh, her face, fake Facebook profile. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, you know what? I want to try what I told you earlier. I'm just going to drag up and just see 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 what it does. And uh, you know what? I'll do the bottom part too. Oh, actually, no. I don't want it to stretch uh, it out so much. Yeah, do the top part now. Are you gonna? Are yeah. you gonna? I'm just gonna do a. Uh, I'm just gonna let Photoshop do its thing. So are you gonna say sky or just no? Like, just let like it, it let, really let it figure it out. Figure it out. Oh, he's like, figure it here. out. We'll do it live. Here. Figure it out, man. <laughs> so, so, so funny. Um, and just so, you, just we haven't talked a lot about this, but so Photoshop had an update. So, um, pre, I was gonna say adjustment presets, and now I'm distracted by this. <laughs> um, remove tool. Yeah. Remove tool. Is, is we have not. One. We didn't talk about that the last hour. Yeah, so I just, can. We can definitely do something with that if you want. But I mean, look how crazy these this image is, it, it's incredible that we now mm -hmm. see that top part is just insane. And actually here's something cool, something that, I don't know if it's gonna work by the way, but um, something that um, Generator Fill is really good at is reflections. So I can come here to the bottom and I'm just gonna extend <coughs> the background here or the, the bottom part. And then I'm gonna add just like a little pond or something. We'll, we'll see what we can do with that. I wonder if it's gonna get her like a shadow of her. It's gonna give it's... her a reflection, I'm pretty sure. Okay. And that's another thing. Um, since it's doing all the computer in the cloud, my computer speed is not as important. Um, that looks but my, good. Yeah, it looks great. Can you just, and then just kind of maybe zoom in on that? Yeah, sure. Just so people can see it a little bit yeah. better. But look, so it extended her foot out. Yep, and the shadow. Yeah. And the shadow for the tree. Look at her knee. It's kind of like kind of getting her knee there, her, yeah. her leg. I yeah. Mean, it does Paul, it Paul Weaver so... summed it up. Wow. Wow. Indeed, but this is what I was trying to do here. So now I'm gonna do just it. make a selection here do in the it. bottom and we'll do see if it works. It. I'm just gonna add do it. Do it. Um, water. Uh, here, how about, super easy, reflective water. Just letting it do its thing, but with giving it some direction, reflective water. So my hope is it will get her reflection, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Or still water, but then it's like, yeah, we'll see what happens. 
This is. What are we doing this time for this progress bar? We, <laughs> Look at this. We... Not, Come on. Not bad. Look at that. Oh my god. Come on. Give me, oh, god. Give me something to throw. I know. <laughs> your laptop. Uh, you can throw, throw your laptop. My hands up. <laughs> yeah. Um, Come on. Henrik said we waited 20 years for this. Definitely, I completely agree. It, it's mm -hmm. it's just crazy, like the amount of stuff that you can do with this. Did you go through the other versions? Oh yeah, I did. Oh uh, sorry. Yeah, no worries. Do you mind? It's kind of swampy. I kind of like it a little bit. It's it's it's, it's not as clean as She's this one. Get malaria. Yeah. I'm a, little, I'm a little concerned for her. Yeah. Now it looks like she's summoning a swamp beast from yeah, the water. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty and good. Again, in, in case somebody's just tuning in, we started with that, mm. and then you know, while well, talking to each other and, and goofing around a little bit, we were able to come up with like an insane photo mm -hmm. in just minutes. I mean, that is just you yeah. know. Blows my mind too, man. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta, t I gotta take up some yoga or something just to yeah, find. Yeah, I mean, my find, God. I, like I feel like the ground is shifting and things are. Yeah, we'll, are we'll do crazy. We'll do one more just for fun, oh, yeah, just no, for funsies, no, no. just for funsies. So and keep in mind, like, um, Jesus said earlier, we are the canvas is pretty large. Yeah, yeah. At this point, it's just stretching pixels yeah. so much that it's it, not. It really is. We're yeah. really uh, yeah. uh, testing the elasticity of those <laughs> pixels at this yeah. point. Yeah, and I'll zoom in on this last one because I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty pixelated just to yeah, show if you people. Yeah, zoom in. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I mean, it looks great. But if I zoom in, yeah, I'll probably go with that one. But if 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 you zoom it's in, still is so much fun. So yeah, see, I mean, at this point, we're really stretching those pixels. So, what I hope um, is to, ha and actually, no, don't we have upscale in uh, some sort of upscale? Uh, yeah, in... the um, neural filter. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can. Maybe. maybe. But really, how do you do this? If you weren't, weren't, weren't on a live stream, you'd, you'd break it up with. Uh, yeah, 1080. And... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's look at more examples. I mean, this is just nuts. So, you, just... did you not save that file? I didn't. <laughs> you know why? Because you could just generate it. I could just it do again. it all over again. <laughs> so I used to have a demo um, where I took, I think it was about 16 photos of the Lee Museum. I stood very still with my phone, and then in Photoshop I came in. I, I used the stack mode, this you know technique. To like one of your tutorials, how to remove tourists from yeah, your phone. Yeah, basically. That's so right, funny. Right. And you know, I needed 19 photos. I needed to stand in front of the museum in front, you know, like for a, a minute, and you know, just hoping to God that people would move. Mm -hmm. So I can have a clean plate, but now um, what I can do is really quickly here with the lasso tool. I'm just going to make very loose selections, and I'm going to go as quickly as I can because I know we don't have a lot of time. But notice that you know I'm not being precise. I'm just going, and you know maybe I should get the reflection as well. And here we go, and I'm just going to. And this is how I've been doing things, by the way. Is I've I've been using the lasso tool, mm -hmm. yeah. just because I like having that some buffer room. Yeah, exactly. Um, and in this case, obviously, just remember to get the, you know, and even if it's not perfect, it's like just yeah. Yeah, and then you know that. everything comes with a mask. You can mask things out if you don't like them. Yeah, and that's something that we're gonna look at a, a little later on. Yeah, so um, we kind of we, just so you guys know, we've we've had AI and machine learning technology for a while, even like content aware being yeah. being one of those. I mean, Adobe Sensei, right? Adobe Sensei. Yeah. So once you have your selection active, just click on Generate Fill, click on Generate, and it should just remove people from the photo. I mean, we'll see. And that's another thing. It, it, unlike other tools, I feel that this is a little more random, where it might work great, you know, and then the next time it doesn't work so great. So you, oh, you kind of have to, um, you know, try it. Um, it, you won't always get exactly the same result. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wonder. And there else. we go. And see, it didn't do a perfect job here on the right side, but you could also come in here and then just do the areas that it missed. But you can see the people on the left side, they're, they're completely gone. Mm -hmm. Where'd you, they go? Like, what happened? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm a little concerned for those other people. Yeah, yeah, we should, we should call someone. Yeah, is there somebody we can call? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it looks like and you still have different versions. You can kind of yeah. You, oh, that's right. Yeah, I can go there and then maybe had a version here that worked better. Yeah. Like I said, sometimes it works great. Other times it doesn't. When I tried it uh, earlier on my own, that's that's what it did. So yeah. you know, you never really never really know. Um, let's talk about you know I, I talked about um, 
an example earlier. So I did this tutorial in, in the Photoshop training channel like way back when. And what I did for this tutorial is like, I very meticulously use the clone stamp tool yeah. to like, you know, copy these pixels and ah. then come in here and you know, and then I stole a little bit from here and you know, just kept doing that uh -huh. for like an hour until that, you know, car was gone. And it's actually one of my most viewed videos. I think it got like four, five, six million views, who knows, a ton of views. But you know, it was just using the clone stamp tool, the patch tool, like all these different tools to remove that car. But now, and you can time me, Paul, just to see how long it takes, but um, with the, with, oh, you are gonna time me, great. Yeah, let's will, see, let's, let's time it, let's go. Let's, just, let's see, ready? Get it, wait, set, and go. go. Okay, so lasso tool and make a loose selection. I don't have to I'm be gonna precise. pretend like I'm doing that over here in this. Okay, sounds good. I don't know. We'll it's see. Let, 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 us in, let us know in the chat how long you think this is going to take. I, I think we should we should compare it to the original time, uh, the time of your original video for the, okay. your tutorial to do to remove that tutorial. Um, is about you, twenty minutes long, but in reality, it took longer because I kept you know like oh do this and then I would you know cut ahead not to bore people. Mm -hmm. um, so now generator fill, generate. Let's see. Let us know in the chat how long you think this is going to take. <coughs> uh, and Chelsea, by, uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to ask Chelsea's question, answer oh. it. So it is in Photoshop beta. So uh, anybody has access to it, um, just go to your Creative Cloud desktop app and in beta apps. Cool. So that's where it comes from. So now that we have a, a clean plate, what I'm going to do is just simply select the layer mask and just fill it with black. So now we have a completely black mask. Black on a mask just means it hides everything. And now I'm going to go to the original image, click on select subject to select her. And then I'll click on this icon to invert the selection, go back into my generator fill layer. And with the brush tool, I'm going to paint with white and look at this. Yeah, paint it out. There we go. All right, Paul, how long, how long did that take? Uh, one one minute thirty seconds. One minute thirty seconds. Unacceptable. So. Way, Unacceptable. Way too too, long. <laughs> too slow. Too slow. And um, yeah. So so like the 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 original video, if you look it up on like YouTube, is how to remove anything from a photo in Photoshop, and it's mm -hmm. got like I said, I don't know, five, four, six million views. That's the one. You'll see the same picture as the cover photo, and you'll see that it's twenty minutes. But like I said, mm -hmm. that was with me cutting it and speeding up yeah, certain things. Like so it took about do. an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So isn't that insane uh, that you can do something like this so fast? I mean, um, and, and and also like remember we got a clean plate too, so it's not like um you know we just removed the car. We like got rid yeah. of everything. But but again, we're not asking the hard questions like what happened to the lady? <laughs> where is yeah. where, what happened yeah. to her? Nobody. Now we have file missing persons. It's a whole thing. It's, yeah, it's insane. Well, Adobe is making people disappear. Like very practical, useful by any account right there. Absolutely. For every single thing. Absolutely. You know, we created monsters last hour, which was fun, but <laughs> this is like super useful. Right. And um, this is just another example of basically showing uh, a lot of the things we've talked about, but put together. So. You know, we talked about the. Um, hey, Jesus would have to go out, out there and yell at everyone. Hey, I'm trying to take a photo. Yeah, I know. Hey, get out of the way. Literally, that was me and Chichen Itza doing, <laughs> telling people to, to move. Like, hey. Is this your asset? Yeah, it's my asset. Yeah. Oh, I have that on my desktop. Oh, cool. They gave it. They gave it to me. I don't Who's, know if they're supposed to, but now I could actually like. Who's they? Uh, no, I don't oh. want to get anybody in trouble. <laughs> well, I did license this image to Adobe and the demo to Adobe. Okay, that's yeah. it's, it's in demo assets. Yeah. But it's good to know that you made it. Yeah. Now, because I just like, hey, can, you guys have any demo assets? And like, let me know who took the photos. <laughs> but they didn't put they didn't put people's names on it. Yeah. But either way. But yeah, so so like I said, this was shot in Cisan Itza, and then I extended the. The background, and then we can do the same, you know, technique we used earlier to remove um, people from the photo. And I'm going quickly here just because there's so much that we gotta. Don't get, don't circle me, on the screen. That is. Oh, on what the if I disappear? Oh yeah, because I'm right in front of that selection. That will be really cool if we can Whoa. make you disappear. Oh, maybe I did disappear from that side. <laughs> All right, that's well, Macklin's so excited about this. Well, I'm sure Paco can make you disappear. We can make us both he can disappear. Do, he can do anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. How Paul, did it? Yeah, General Phil took, took Paul away. Oh. Paul is gone. I was like. Oh, he's back? 
Tur taking off the screen for a second, and I'm, and I'm like just chomping down on a big burger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds delicious. Can we generate a burger, Paul? Can, can, you, can you get on that, please? Oh, man. That would, we get so hungry, but what a great idea, oh, too. Oh, man, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, kind of nuts. So, um, well, what else? Trying man. to think of everything that we I should probably check. Yep. There we go. People are gone. And another super cool thing is, um, let's see. If you make a selection just around the bottom of anything, really, and you type something like reflective waves. Don't even. It's, it hopefully will create this amazing, beautiful lake in front of the pyramid with the reflections. And it's just really, really nuts. Uh, Anna, it works great with the illustrations. It'll match the style of whatever you're selecting. Mm -hmm. um, you can do a blank canvas and say yeah. Chichen Itza. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Look look at that reflection, Paul. I mean, look at those those waves. Jesus. I like that first one. That yeah, that's, nice. that's the one I like best. Um, should we uh, see if, it, if it'll do a bridge? Well, we'll see. What do you think I should do? Like a like yeah. a old wooden bridge? Or what do you think? Of the, um, yeah, uh, just stone, a stone old bridge. Old stone uh. bridge. I don't know if this is going to work, guys, so we'll see. And then I want to see a dragon on that. All right. On top? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Something up there. All right. Um, <clears throat> how does it work with hair? It'll generate hair, whatever you ask mm -hmm. it to. Um, could I give it more hair, add more hair to a model, for example? Yeah, we can definitely yeah. do that. All right, so the, the bridge is not bad. Oh, that's it's, actually really cool. Yeah, that actually is That nice. is really cool. And you know what I just thought about? Let's see if we can, I, I do want to add your dragon, but I just thought about Ooh. Um, just like a yeah. uh, like a warrior. Should, Ooh. I, should I just put like warrior? Or uh, I'll do Aztec warrior. Yeah, Aztec warrior. Would you say sort of like? Yeah, actually, we'll just say that. That's we'll see. All. We'll see if we can get a guy or a fe uh, lady standing there. Yeah, not all warriors aren't all just men. People, no, yeah. stop! How dare you? Mm -hmm. And by the way, like um, generative fill and firefly is pretty good about that. Yes. Like, I mean, for the most part, mm -hmm. but it's all based on those images. Mm -hmm. So. All right. I don't know if that guy's Aztec, but maybe that guy is. Ooh, can you okay. zoom in on that? On this guy? Yeah. The shirtless guy. I don't know. Should I flag that, that image? Oh, that's a little weird. <laughs> Sorry. I said, that is not, do not zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But that's a case where, like, you could select that area and say, like, I don't yeah, know, leather like, shorts. Leather shorts. You know, right. like, you, you know how you, like, have leather shorts? And yeah. there's leather shorts, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. I have them on right now. <laughs> I, you yeah, just can't right. see them below the, my uh, desk and the they're, laptop. They're I mean, so, but you can see them. So warm. I can. They look yeah. great on you, my All right, let, my let's add your dragon. You want to add a dragon, like, on top of here? <laughs> Yeah, but can can you select more of the area? Like, can, I'm wondering. I want to see it actually sitting. Yeah, yeah. That's you did a good job. So, like, oops. Let me try that again. Oops. So, like, is this what you have in mind? Yeah. Just make sure you get some of the. Yeah. And then do like what dragon? Gigantic dragon, with wings. Hope there's an offline version and higher resolution. Paul, that sounds great too. I'd love offline version, especially when I'm on the plane. Unfortunately, <laughs> that means having a huge database of images on your desktop. Yeah. And nothing else. And a ton of compute power. And a ton of compute power. So have somebody else do all that do all that hard work and yeah. you know, serve it up. All right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, as was it like Okay, that so one's here, all right. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, that one's Ooh, all right too. That, that one's, one's all right better. too. That yeah. one's pretty good. Yeah. But this is a situation where, like, okay, there are no real dragons. Right. You're going to, even if you go on Adobe Stock, and do, this is how you find out where that stuff's coming from. Go on Adobe Stock, type that in, mm -hmm. see sort of the resource photos, and a lot of that stuff's obviously, like, 3D generated. Yeah, there's no real uh, photos of dragons. Right. Just so you know. <laughs> Somebody needs to screenshot a couple of Game of Thrones episodes. Yeah, and, and what? <laughs> Game of Thrones episodes? Oh. Just do a couple of screenshots? <laughs> oh, yeah, throw it up there. Oh, I, I wish. But that's, you know, this yeah. changes the look of it. Super fun. It's doing all the Super things. Super cool. But, yeah, I mean, it. you know what? And why don't we try adding, like, actually, that's not a triangle. I'm going to try adding another pyramid. And I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to test it. I'm going to see, I'm just going to type in pyramid. So I want to see if it does, like, an Aztec pyramid or, like, an Egyptian oh, pyramid. Oh, interesting. So P I'm just going to, did I spell it right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, I think so. All right. <laughs> now I have to have a dictionary on me at all times. I don't know how to spell anything. I just came aware of, became aware of, can you provide a link uh, to the requirements to run Firefly? Runs in the browser. Just type in Firefly mm -hmm. at adobe.com. And it's going to run in your browser. So no real 
requirements. It's all about maybe the, your internet speed and then if everybody's requesting pictures of dragons and temples, it might be a little right. slower. All right, so not bad. It, I mean, these are definitely not Egyptian pyramids, so, you know. Paul Weaver, what's up? Cool. Let I me... like how it did it. It kind of matched the the blurriness. And, yeah, you exactly. Know, I, 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 I kind of like it. I like it. Uh, you know what? This one's actually pretty cool, so I will save it. That one's nice. Um, oh, you're going to save it? I'm going to save that one. Did you save it? That one's cool. Yeah, I like it. Oh, yay. He <laughs> saved a file for once. Yay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to find... Uh, oh, here we go. This is what I was going to show. Um, so we've been looking at just you know, adding things to a photo or removing things to a photo, but you can actually create composites from scratch, which I think is, is super cool. Like, for example, I can make a selection here on the bottom and decide where my hori horizon line is going to be. So, like, that'll be that line there. Generate fill, and I can just type in, like, uh, grassy okay. field or something like that. We'll see what that, that gender... Actually, you know what? I'm going to cancel it. <laughs> grassy field with dirt patches. Just oh, wanna... nice. There we go. And maybe you could put in like summer, winter, mm, mm -hmm, you know, and that mm -hmm. would change it. Yeah. But you do, this is the new pose of the Photoshop designer is like what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, really? You could finally so, stretch out your shoulders. I, I think you were just want to show off your muscles, dude. Yeah, always. Yeah, like, I do all these weird Paul, flexes. Paul, where's the bathroom? Is it like... Uh, it's behind oh, me. Oh, oh, okay. It's over oh, there. Way, okay, actually, cool. Technically. Yeah. <laughs> but I kid. But I'm like, oh, I finally get to stretch my shoulders because I gotta, you know, <laughs> wait for the it to create. Well, there's no patches of dirt, but that's okay. <laughs> um, uh, that would be. It's always, f yeah. That's yeah. Let me. Cool. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Uh, and I almost. Distant. I also. I almost think you need to just roughly select an area. But depending on what you're trying to do, I don't know what you're yeah. trying to do. I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know what's I in think, your head. I think I needed the word distant because it doesn't feel like it goes off into the distant. Oh, good you know? point. So yeah. Or, added... and this is a case where maybe you ah, look at. Here we go. Wow. That's what that I'm talking a, about. Yeah, that made a That's huge exactly what difference. I'm talking about. See, distant, it just creates that depth. Yeah. And then. W wide angle, maybe? Oh, know. yeah. That's great. Then I can select the top part and say something like um, overcast. Cloudy sky with I, I use the word distant a lot. Distant yeah. just to, for depth. Mm -hmm. Distant mountains. And we'll see. Yeah. Over oops, I misspelled overcast. Uh, overcast cloudy sky with distant mountains. I think that's spelled correctly. And I'm just trying to generate a, a background from scratch rather than you know, just removing something and then you, that be my background. I can just create it completely from scratch. I can create a whole mm -hmm. composite essentially using the yeah. generative fill. Ooh, let's see, which guy do you like better? I think number two, what do you think? This, uh, oh, the second one, yeah. Um, yeah, number yeah, two. I'm glad. Cool. Uh, yeah, so answer your question from Behance. You can just select a subject and ask for variations of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just click Generate and then look at those three variations. Change it because uh, it's all in the Properties panel. You change it, you know, yeah. refine it more. But this looks this looks like Colorado, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah, it's very, you know, Colorado's like has a state with a split personalities. <laughs> half the state's flat, the other half mountains. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna type in broken down red barn. So hopefully we get like a old red barn. Yeah, old, old. I should have used the word old. Yeah. And that's old the cool thing. I can always barn. go back and add a prompt if I need to. Does the... I'm just reading that. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Uh, if you add HD or 4K parameters, no. No. No, it does not. Um, but... Uh, wow, ooh. actually did a really good job. Wow, yeah. Uh, what do you think? I kind of like that one. I like that one, too. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Yeah. And then what I can do now is maybe on this side here, I can do like a... My, my usual trick, reflective, <laughs> reflective water. And then it figures out that it's like probably like a pond or something. So it, it should do a good job mixing it in with the grass and all that. Yeah, man, this is fun. So, so how's your day going? 
pretty good. Now that Adobe released this tool that, like someone said, we've Jesus, been waiting for 20 years. Jesus is like, finally, I can maybe sleep tonight. Yeah, finally. <laughs> it, you know what? It didn't do that good of a job as I was expecting, so maybe I'll change the uh, the prompt and I'll, I'll say something like pond with reflective water. I just like the reflection I would that it love, creates. Uh, what, what if it's even an interesting size where like if it goes in front of the barn? Oh, okay, let's do that. Reflective? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, and then kind of cast the reflection on the on the water. Yeah. Let's... So, uh, Jimena, by the way, you bring up a good point because I think a lot of people want high res. Like, I think we'll get there. Mm -hmm. Like, we ha we have the capability. Right. But again, this is in beta. We just gave it to you today. Let's 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 figure out how that would look in the future. That's a sad looking pond. Let's. Uh... <laughs> it is a very, but again, very Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> like in the place. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna do, oh, kinda yeah. do what you said. Ooh, let's I love see. this. It's gonna be weird. So I'm just gonna say uh, things are gonna get weird. Oh, you know what? River with reflective water. How about that? Oh yeah. I don't want to do ocean or anything like that, but we'll see. And this is where I'm still looking at this, and it's that's almost perfect. I think it's the fact that it's using true black. Mm -hmm. I think that black's almost too dark. Yeah, I that's agree. That's the only thing. That's I agree. And maybe the yeah, something like that. But mm -hmm. it's like good. I get I get to be useful. <laughs> thanks for, thanks Photoshop for letting me do something. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, this I'm is great. I'm losing my mind. All right, right here. Look at that. Look at that grass. I'm Look at that dirt. The barn. And you know what the cool thing is? Is we started from scratch, right? We had a blank canvas. This is like nothing. Yeah, roll back to the 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 original image. This is the original image. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So there's your source image. There's my source image. Ah, <laughs> oh, grass. We use the word distant, and then uh -huh. the sky, and then what do we do? Oh yeah, the barn, <coughs> and then that little little river thing. Really, really little, crazy. Little you know what we thing. should do? Um, why don't we put like a jet here? What do you think? Yeah, we just got some rich cowboys, like some yeah. Ted Turner guys, like going out to check yeah. out his barn, how to land his yeah. jet or biplane or what Cessna or something. I, I, and <laughs> you did a good job. Like, keep it generic. It has more to pull from. Might surprise you. Right. Which is super fun. Um, and just so we're clear, it's in the latest Photoshop beta, which you can find in the uh, beta apps of. Uh, of the Creative Cloud desktop. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah this guy just, just showed up to his He's barn. A... Oh my god! Wow, these are pretty good. I don't know, man. I'm just dying. I'm dying. Which here. one? Yeah, Jesus. I kind of like the third. Uh, I like that one. I like first, that. It's between first and second for me. I, I think... feel like this is. I uh, that one's good. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that one's good. It's. I mean, it's you're really the boss. Cool. But and I'm you know just... what? Like we haven't. There's another thing I wanted to show you guys that I just uh, thought about. Let me just find the right. Image that. So let's be clear on everything as you open that up. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be fun too. Yeah. So stop it already. Um, yeah. Again, this is using generative AI. Think of Firefly, sort of powered by Adobe Firefly. Mm -hmm. It's using Adobe stock images. We still have the big question, like we are we're using you know stock contributor assets, and mm -hmm. we're looking at compensating people. So it's like this does this magic does come at a cost, and uh, we 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 plan on. Um, you know, getting that all worked out. We're actively working on that. So um, that's all I kind of had to say. So I selected the right side of the image using the polygonal lasso tool. And the prompt is going to be building with reflective windows. Because maybe, you know, I, I don't, I think, I might think that the, you know, trees in the background are boring and I just want the building. And I'll click on generate mm -hmm. and, and we'll see what it does. So that's, do you, you just say, what did you say? Building with reflective windows. Yeah, this this reflective stuff is, mm -hmm. you know. Look at that. Pretty good. Let's see what we I got. I mean, look at the reflection of this car. It's actually reflecting both cars, and the buildings are the same type of buildings. You know, it didn't do like buildings uh -huh. in like, you know, another place. It did mm -hmm. the buildings from this location. Click through it. Does it have her in there? Because that's like that's the next level. I think if I were to bring the selection closer to her, maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like she's just too far from the the uh -huh. window for for the reflection. But I mean, but all these look real. Like seriously, like if I were to see any of these, I wouldn't think any of these were fake. Mm -hmm. And maybe if we like zoom in and analyze like little details, maybe we'll find something wrong with them, but mm -hmm. it's nuts. And also, you know what? Maybe we're like, you know what? I don't like these cars. So let's see if it works. Let's, these cars are distracting. Not, not really what I want. Let's just do a blank 
generator fill here and see if it removes the cars. Oh, like changing changing her clothes? We could we could do that. Yeah, we can do that as well. Actually, there's an I, th I thought I had a photo of actually me there that I was playing around with. Oh. Uh, so and that's why this is in beta. Yeah. So this is always interesting because you what was your prompt? There was no prompt. Oh, that's fascinating. That's interesting. Yeah. And that's what I think. We when we get those pop ups, mm -hmm. we actually need to be able to like. There should be. I wish there was a submit. Kind right. Of, there was a way to sort of like send that data because I've kind of had that happen before. Yeah, yeah. But it's to have it happen on nothing. Yeah, without a prompt. It's it's weird. It, it might be. It's like oh, here's a pretty woman. Blah blah blah. Like mm -hmm. yeah, get doesn't like it. All right. Oh, so here's a case where like are you? Tr yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I who think knows? it's trying to be extra safe. Can we oh. use Google or Bing as a source for images? No. Can't, you can't just hey, it, say, hey, internet, I'm going to take all your photos and use them. <laughs> it's like, if I upload something to show people, that's one thing. It doesn't give everybody the right to take my stuff and to build new things based on my heart, on the, on the shoulders of everybody who's, uh, you know, posted an image online. Absolutely. So. Oh, um, I think I had a picture that I was going to show here of, I think this is the picture of me, believe it or not. Yeah, there I am. <laughs> And um, we were talking about transparency earlier. So if I were to, you know, add some sunglasses to my face here. I'm just losing my mind here. And I work for Adobe. I've seen this stuff for yeah. a while. <clears throat> and uh, just glasses or sunglasses? Yeah, just glasses. Just, just glasses. glasses. Um, okay, I do want to see the transparency, but there's not going to be any. That's the point. Um, and I'll, you know, show you what you can do if you wanted to get some transparency in there. Oh, thank you. Audrey says you do have to press view guidelines oh, to see in what's the pop-up. Okay. Oh my God, look ha. at that. Look at see, that. See, again, it's, 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 yeah. Yeah, see, so, so the point that I'm trying to make here. We do here, sunglasses. Can yeah. You, can you generate sunglasses in there real fast? Because I'm sure. gonna wear it out. Not sure. really, but like maybe just sunglasses. What and, and then we'll talk. Yeah, sure. Oops. Uh, sunglasses, glasses. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you need a space or not, but uh, we'll see. There we go. We'll see. So that'll be, this is, I'm glad we're doing this. Yeah. These are interesting little tests. Yeah, exactly. You know? I wonder if it's smart enough to know this guy doesn't know how to spell. Let me, let me fix it for him. Yeah, so it's not, it's not that any of this is top secret, but because if you post something online, doesn't mean everybody can take it. Yeah. Uh, oh, like we're getting places. Yeah. And, you know, like the point that I was going to make earlier is if you really wanted to use these glasses, obviously Photoshop generated, you know, like, this entire area with new pixels. But if you mm -hmm. really, really wanted to use glasses like that or anything that has transparency and not just glasses, you have mm -hmm. a layer mask. So with the layer mask, you can just go in there and paint with black to reveal the original pixels and then you'll get something oh, that's yeah. a little more, oh, more, you know what you're doing. more realistic, right? So now, I mean, uh -huh. the glasses are a little too high up, you know, in that case, I might move them down a little bit and then continue masking, mm -hmm. you know, the glasses so that they now work in the area where I where I place them in. And I, I think the big uh, takeaway here is that just because we have AI doesn't mean that we lost all the traditional tools. So mm -hmm. we can still use those traditional tools to make the AI work when it doesn't. Yeah. And just a quick time check. We have about uh, eight minutes. Eight minutes. Okay, cool. You know, you got nice hair, Paul. So let me, how can I? How oh, can you can do it? cool hair? Yeah, I'm going to do cool hair. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yes. He's so nice. Let's see. I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to do blonde. How about this? Blonde spiky hair. This is based on uh, ja Jocko's uh, request, changing the hairstyle. That's Which, right. by the way, I think this is the funnest thing to do. Like, hey, take a photo, <laughs> drop in Photoshop beta, get, get funky with it. Get funky with it. That's right. So just so you know, like e every time we generate something, did you know we can track back to the actual no. photos? Oh, really? From that Adobe were Stock. used for Adobe Stock. Wow. So to say that it's not using something would be a lie. Yeah. What do you think of that? <laughs> oh, look at that. That's ridiculous. Actually, that I like that. I'm gonna there we go. talk to my hairstyle. Look at your bleach blonde. I love it, man. <laughs> I love it. And you know what? I think I might be. Uh, I have a selection right here, ready <laughs> to go. Who is this guy? Oh, do it. Yeah, this is not gonna. It's gonna look. Oh God. We're gonna <laughs> do. do it um, you, you can't. Think? You can't like a leather jacket, or you think? Oh yeah, you'd be a cool guy. Leather cool jacket. Cool guy with your. Oh man. With your blonde see. hair and your. And my you leather jacket. You already have leather shorts on. I do so have totally leather works. shorts, so I need to match my. Yeah, I need to. I need something that matches the shorts. 
So yeah, Micah, bring up a good point because we're also dealing with, so we, it returns 1024 sort of mm -hmm. size. Mm -hmm. We want it to be fast and, and usable as well. Right. So thank right. you for bringing that up. Like, yes, we could unlock, say, a 4K, but you're going to take a while. Look at that, man. That's a, that's a, that's a look. That what about a whole vibe. What about that? You know oh, what? I like how I did the vest. Yeah, and you know what? It made me skinnier, which I probably need in real life. You know, so, uh, uh, don't, don't, yeah. don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, what I like about this is that it, you know it generated the sun hitting the jacket again, yeah. shadows, all that stuff is just, just I love it. nuts. <laughs> That's so funny. And it is very... you know what? For funsies, why don't we generate this side? <laughs> I mean, just messing with people's photos. Oh, God. Like, I swear, don't don't tick off a designer. Don't tick yeah. some, off somebody who has Photoshop, the Photoshop beta. You are you in trouble. Are, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what if you open in the non-beta? Oh, what a great question. I don't, I'm going to try it right now. I wonder if it's going to render it or what? Probably a smart object's my guess. Let's see. Yeah, great question. That's a really good question, yeah. We're learning together. You know, I saw and I saw a question there earlier that I'm going to try. Like, what happens if you select an entire image and then just don't type anything in the prompt? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, we'll see. But look at that. I mean, geez. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. You know what? Um, yes. This would be a good dating profile photo. What do you think, Paul? <laughs> Do it. Just like, <laughs> Who would has, swipe right has, on this? That has Tinder written all over it. <laughs> let me open up um, and let me know what you figure out with that question because I'm curious to know as well. I'm just going to open up a, a photo that I have here. Let's see. What do I have here? Um, uh, 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 properties panel. It renders oh. the variation you have visible. Okay, and is it a smart object or is it just like the same icon? No, it's just the Oh, just like a same, flattened version? Just a, f a flattened version. All right, so, so let me just, great, we have this question. image of this guy we used earlier. So this is one thing I wouldn't want to do, so I wouldn't, what I wouldn't want to do is 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 save this. Because mm -hmm. if I save this, I'm going to lose the variations if I try to like open it up in the beta. Oh, right, you know right. Yes, yeah, so it'd be good for making product shots if you could get AI to blend, say, your own photo of a watch properly on a model's hand, totally. This is so interesting. So we made a full selection just out of this person and no prompt, and it generated this. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to do, do it again just, just to see if it still generates like that city. Yeah, two, two minutes left. We could do so much with two minutes. Oh, yeah. Well, it takes a minute and a half to remove a car. We're, I know. We did learn that. <laughs> we have such egos right now. We are so powerful. What did you feel yes. like? And also small at the same time because <laughs> you're like, I don't really understand how it does this. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah, I guess it does landscapes. I guess that's the answer to the question. If you don't select anything or if you don't give it a prompt and select mm -hmm. an entire image, Gives it's you just... Away. It says, you know what? Here's a fun, here's a, get, it's, say, it's time you to get outdoors. Exactly. Go outside. That's what it's saying. And, and here's another, you know, quick trick that I guess I should have shown earlier, but I'm just gonna make like a super quick selection around this lady and that car, that taxi cab. And here's another cool trick that. Um, you're cutting into her a lot. Yeah. I wanna see what you're doing. Well, I'm, I'm doing it because I don't have that much time, but <laughs> um, the a cool prompt is just type in wet floor or ground, Ooh. wet ground in this case, wet ground, and it should or give us some walk, nice, yeah, or sidewalk, maybe. yeah, and it should give us like some really cool reflections. One minute. One minute. Is it going to get done in time? It's going to get done. I know Hurry. it. I know it. You got this. Come on, Photoshop. Yeah, so, you know, and again, think of the, all the keywords on, say, Adobe Stock and see where that stuff Look comes that. from. Look at that. Yeah. Incredible. Hey, Jesus Ramirez, everybody. Paul Tran. Jesus is the man. Slow clap for you. I, I did, man, I always learn something, <laughs> and I'm always impressed when you come in here. So I hope I just want it to rub off on me. That's why I'm always like, put me next to Jesus. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's incredible. I think Derek sum, sums it up. Yeah, it's incredible. Incredible. And, and wow. And Jesus, you're incredible too, buddy. Thank you. You are as well, my friend. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. 
you with your leather shorts on. And my Photoshop shirt. And your Photoshop shirt. <laughs> cool. well, I guess we're out of here. But stick around, guys. We have so much more live streaming the rest of the day. So don't go anywhere, and we'll still be in chats. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.